In the last few episodes, we bought this Barn Find Lexus LS400 pretty much sight unseen. It had been sat for around seven years in a barn and well, I took the plunge and just bought it because I absolutely love these cars. After having a good look around the car, I decided the best thing to do would be to clean it because it had been sat for so long, it was dusty and we didn't really know the condition of the paint and the underneath of the car. But knowing that the car had been around the Nürburgring in 2013, I took it upon myself to clean this car, drive it down my driveway to see if it was actually a good car. And thankfully, I was pretty happy. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I recently became a father and it's been an incredible experience. But I have to admit, trying to balance the demands of YouTube and becoming a father for the first time has been a huge challenge. There were days where I felt completely overwhelmed, like I was being pulled in multiple different directions at once. I'll be up all night with my other half helping out with the baby and then going straight into making YouTube videos the very next morning. To manage that and this business, which which is a YouTube channel, it was exhausting, both physically and emotionally. I realized that I needed to talk to someone about what I was going through, so I decided to give therapy a try, and I'm so glad I did. Having a space where you can express your fears, frustrations, and doubts was a huge game changer. My therapist has helped me develop strategies for managing stress and setting manageable expectations and finding a better work-life balance. Honestly, I don't know how I would have been able to get through this challenging time without the support. Therapy has given me the tools and the perspective to be the best father and the best entrepreneur I could be. That's why I'm excited that BetterHelp is a paid partner in today's video. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that makes getting help more accessible and convenient than ever. They will match you with a credible therapist that can connect with you via video, chat, phone or text. And if you're not vibing with the therapist, you can actually change easily and switch to a new therapist therapist at no extra cost. If you're struggling with something in life like I seem to do all the time with management, expecting so much from myself, whether it's a massive transaction from becoming a parent or just everyday anxiety and stress in different aspects of your life, I encourage you guys to check out BetterHelp. They're offering you guys a special discount on their first month's therapy. Just go to betterhelp.com forward slash Jamie FYD. There is a link in the description and in the pinned comments. Guys, take care of yourself out there because you deserve to be happy and healthy. Thanks again to BetterHelp sponsoring today's video. Again, link is in the description. This is a huge deal because we all go through it in life and talking about it, yes, is the first thing, but acting upon it as well. Remember, link is in the description and the pinned comments. Let's get back to the video. And that brings us to today where this mighty Lexus LS400 has been booked in for an MOT. Now, I thought I'd get the MOT booked, reassure myself that this thing was, of course, going to pass. Now, after being sat for so long and not really knowing the past, you know, services, anything really to do with this car, and it's nearly 160,000 miles that it's done, knowing only one thing that it's been around the Nürburgring, will it pass? That's today's question. Because I've done this a lot, well, you've seen it a lot, where we've bought a car that's been sat, it's been, you know, deteriorated, maybe had an engine, something has gone wrong, and we don't really know until we drive it, until we maybe find out through some sort of mechanical inspection or an MOT. Now, if you don't know what an MOT is, in the UK, is an annual test that assesses the safety and road worthiness, including emissions, for a vehicle every year. Now, because this car is not uh, old enough yet, you still have to MOT this car. In fact, I think my Series 1 RS Turbo in the next couple of years will be MOT exempt, which is very, very exciting. You can then, if you wanted to, not MOT a car. Of course, anything classic, I like to keep an MOT on it. But this being a 1998 car, we still have to do uh, the mandatory UK-based MOT. Now, they, of course, check a lot of things on the MOT. If you're not from the UK, they'll check ball joints, they'll check tyres, they'll check emissions, they'll check pretty much everything within rules to actually keep a lot of cars on the road. Uh, and of course, I've done this a lot, where a lot of smaller cars are not of, uh, maybe not as luxurious like the Lexus LS400 has deteriorated very very quickly they've got a lot of ball joint play they've got a lot of emissions problems they're stuttering under load stuff like that so I do believe in my heart of hearts that this 
159,000 mile Lexus LS400 has what it takes to pass its MOT without me even looking underneath it. Now, why would I think that? Well, I think, in my personal opinion, this era of car was built so much better than the newer cars. There is more longevity and there is hopefully a better outcome when the car has some mileage and when it's been used. This car has been used, it has been enjoyed, but because the MOT has elapsed and it's been sat, I think this is the best candidate for literally not looking underneath it, not even really checking it, driving up and down my driveway like I did in the last video, and then taking it to an MOT and seeing if it actually passes. But what I'm gonna do is because of course in the UK you have to tax a vehicle, although the car can be insured, I can't drive this to the MOT station because there is still no tax on it. Very blurry line, but of course, looking up, doing this a couple of times, I am going to get the car low loaded to the MOT station because of course, I can't tax this car unless it has an MOT, even though it's insured. Although I even have an MOT booked at a certain time, I'm not gonna risk it because that's how the UK works. It's a bit backwards in that sense. I should be able to tax this vehicle and drive it to the MOT station because I feel like I can, but I won't. I'll put my hands up and say, I will low load this to the MAT station. So that's what's gonna happen next. And as you saw from the last video, I did actually wash it and um, well, there's, there's bird poo on the front, there's loads of rain, dirtiness on the back. I mean, it was looking very, very nice, this vehicle. And, uh, and now it's not looking as nice. So this is the point where I either have completely bought a lemon or we successfully have actually bought something nice <laughs> without it needing thousands of pounds worth of work to get it on the road. This, I feel like, is make or break for this car. Hopefully we come out the other side with an all pass or we look at other alternatives. I jumped in my car and followed the tow truck down to the MOT station where we left the Lexus for an hour's MOT, patiently waiting round the corner to see if we made it or not. Okay, so it's a few hours later and I would like to announce that of course if you've done a reg check on the car, you'll know full well that it passed its MOT. That is, I, can I just point out, I've done this a lot, right? I've done this a lot recently. People do this on the internet a lot. They buy uh, wrecked cars or you know abandoned cars, barn finds, whatever it is. And I don't think many of them would have the belief in the car they've just purchased after literally just cleaning it, although it doesn't look like I've cleaned it because there's poo on it, but it would pass its MOT just rolling it straight in there. Genuinely, I sort of, as I as I bought this car, said to myself, do you know what, I know a Lexus, I know that these are good cars, I know they're reliable, I'm just gonna throw it in for an MOT, and I am so glad that I'm saying this past, it is, it's unbelievable to me, and I thought it was gonna happen, so as you can see, I'm very, very excited about this, I'm very happy that this has happened. Of course, there is a few things, there's gonna be a few things, because this car has been sat for a very long time, it's been enjoyed for 159,000 miles, so there is of course a few things. Funnily enough though, tires aren't really one of them. Um, I'm probably going to change them because of the date codes that are on them. But if we look back in the MOT history, so 2016 being the furthest back the MOT actually goes on the piece of paper in front of me, 159,002 miles. In that year, it did around 700 miles, so 159,777. In 2018, which was the last MOT for this vehicle, 159,813 miles. And as you can see, since that date, it has done 11 miles. 11 miles this vehicle has done since 2018, and it has still passed its MOT straight away with no major defects, which is the huge thing here. I did say to the MOT, you know, I take my cars to, you know, the MOT station just around call from me, and he said, literally, you could have told me you've been driving this yesterday and it still is tight. Every ball joint is as it should be. Yes, there are play in little bits and bobs because of the mileage and it's been sat, but genuinely, they MOT stuff every day. They see deteriorated cars. He said, this isn't a deteriorated car. Someone has loved this at some point. And yes, it's been sat, 
doesn't mean that it's not ready for the road. Now the biggest thing of course as I said in the last video was the exhaust leak. Now that's the first thing that I sort of said mate it's got an exhaust leak hopefully it passes emissions which it did thankfully enough because although this is a four litre V8 it still has very good emissions in fact at the time I think if I remember correctly LS400 engine was one of its best in its class for emissions. So yes the first minor or repair if necessary is the exhaust leak next up is both rear tires rears are on their way out so that's something we will assess very very soon power steering component with slight seepage uh probably over time you know driving around and stuff steering is incredibly light in these cars so of course that's probably working over time with the weight that this car is carrying so that's something that has been added and the other thing i was thinking is because this car's been sat for such a long time the handbrake wasn't on which was the main thing but of course the brake discs have corroded over time and that's come up on the mot uh worn pitted or scored brakes not seriously weakened though on the rear so basically corroded brakes but that's going to happen because i've literally driven it up and down my driveway other bit it's our front and rear suspension corroded that's just of course from not being driven rear subframe corroded i did say to him you know because i went through this with him on the spot i said is that a problem he said no there's just slight corrosion on the rear subframe and i was like well that's understandable and travel on the parking lever i did say to him i haven't actually really tried the parking brake and he said it is effective it is you know it within the parameters to pass an mot but you might need to tighten it over time you might need to assess maybe the brake line or brake lever at some point now again that's probably just from lack of use because in an auto i don't know about you guys but i never actually use the handbrake but of course it's mandatory to have a handbrake on an mot now of course if i was buying this car for content this is probably the worst car i could have picked because I knew it was going to pass. I had a feeling after buying it that it would pass. It's anticlimactic because it doesn't actually need anything after being sat for so long. Uh, a lot, again, a lot of cars that we've bought on the channel we've enjoyed. We've had to do so much to get them to the point of driving them along. This one, I'm going to go drive it today. We're going to do a separate video of what it is actually like to drive. All I've done is driven it three miles home, pushed some buttons, not really done a lot not really put my foot down either yeah uh sorry internet but that was a bit anticlimactic because it literally apart from a slight corrosion on bits that you would expect it needs some rear tires and that is why i like lexus that is why i will sing to the hills that lexus is one of the best companies or second-hand cars say to buy because of the reliability and in fact i have put this on the road now and i'm going to daily drive this and I will relay back to you guys as to what it's actually like to daily drive maybe a 4 litre V8 from day to day, an older car, a 90s generational car of this stature. I am genuinely so happy, but of course for YouTube content, it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need like everything pulling apart and brakes and oh, we found this and found that, which we do usually find. This one's really nice. <laughs> so with that guys, I'm gonna thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for the anti-climactical end to this video, but I think we were all knew it was gonna happen. I sort of knew it was coming. I can't really force the content if it's not there. I haven't been scammed this time. I haven't been turned over whatsoever. It's a really nice car. <laughs> on that high note though, I'm gonna thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.